Good morning, welcome to my laboratory. Uh, okay, so I've got uh, basic parts to this little uh, Bedini North Pole motor all cut out and made. And, uh, <laughs> my dog wants to play. Maggie. Hey, Maggie. Say hello to everybody. Can you speak? She says, what's going on? I'm not photogenic. There you go, toy. after the bone, I think. Okay, back to work. Um, okay, so pivot bearings. If you can find hardened steel set screws, you'll notice that they have uh, good ones, high quality ones, have this nice conical indentation on the bottom end, not the end with that accepts the wrench, but the other end has a nice cone in there, and these things are hardened steel. So I use them for pivot bearings a lot. Uh, I've mounted one in the base with the conical indentation facing upwards and then I've made a rotor here. I took a brass screw and uh, sharpened the ends by chucking it in a drill and, and uh, running it against the sander. So I made nice conical points on that brass screw. Then I took a jar lid, a plastic jar lid, and drilled a hole in the center of it and mounted a couple of magnets there with uh, epoxy and super glue. I used a ceramic magnet but they just weren't strong enough so I supplemented them with a little NDB magnet on the back and uh, so that's that's the rotor and then I have this uh, assembly uh, to mount everything. I made the coil mount so that I could adjust it in and out in the event that I need to use a bigger rotor. Let's see, there's the plan view of the thing. Okay, so, uh, and then this is the top bar with another quarter twenty set screw in there uh, to hold it all together. So let's see if I can assemble it with one hand. Now, as you'll find, if you start working with these pivot bearings, you'll find that they're, they're uh, very low friction, but they have to be adjusted just right in order to get the best, uh, the best performance out of them. So be sure and build your system with plenty of adjustability. Okay, so that's pretty good, I think. Nice quiver there. Right. Okay, so now I've got the circuit hooked up to the same circuit that I used to test it uh, yesterday in the previous video. Uh, this is uh, 2N3055, an NE2 and a dropping resistor and you can put that capacitor in or not it's not important and then there's a little 1N914 diode here and the schematic is exactly the same schematic as Bedini's North Pole motor because that's what this is it's a North Pole motor okay so now let's hook up the power I have a 12, little 12 volt battery here uh, I've got 800 turns of the wires on the coil, so I have a little bit more resistance than Bedini's 450 turn motor. Now let's see which wires I'm using. This one for plus. Oops. Sorry. This one for plus. There. And this one for minus. Usually when I hook it up, there's a little flash of the neon. It did flash, but I don't think the camera caught it. Okay, so we're hooked up now to the battery. Now you have to give the thing a pretty, pretty, pretty decent spin to get it to get it started.
it's accelerating. I don't know if you can actually hear that or not. You can hear the bearings starting to rattle. And the camera is only catching a few of the flashes of the light. It's actually flashing much, much faster than, than what you're seeing on the camera. But I think you can see that that sucker is really going now. And because of the, the strobe effect, you're not seeing all of the flashes of that neon bulb. See there, it looks like it's kind of on continuously and then kind of flashing a little. That's, uh, and now it looks like it's off, but it's not really, it's actually flashing. I can, and there it's on. So you're interacting a little bit with the camera shutter speed and the flash rate of that neon. But the motor is, uh, really turning. I'm going to give it an, uh, and I guess it'll go either way. So here I'll give it a spin uh, counterclockwise. And there it goes, it's accelerating. Faster and faster. Now I'll give it a turn clockwise. Oh, I didn't give it enough starting spin, I guess. And there it goes. So it'll run either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, uh, as you might expect, because it's actually symmetrical in construction. The core of the, of the coil is pointed right along the radius. I guess I should put a, a marker on that rotor so you can see that it's actually spinning. Hang on a second. Oh, well, that helped a lot, didn't it? It really goes. Oh, I'm sorry I don't have a, a tachometer available right now. I can't tell you how fast it's spinning. I could hook it up to the oscilloscope uh, later on and see if I can get a measurement that way. That sucker is really going. Okay, Bedini North Pole Motor uh, with rudimentary construction, uh, just as simple as you can make it. Two magnets, pivot bearings. And this one will actually almost run on one magnet. Uh, I tried it earlier and it, 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 it might run on one magnet. Alright, thank you for watching.